Friday morning, everyone. It's Friday. Are you ready for the weekend? Are you planning to come to worship? We're at Saddleback Laguna Woods, Clubhouse 5, same as always, 9 and 11. Love to have you come join in our worship of the God that we've been singing about this whole week. If you have another church home, wonderful. Then go sing to the Lord there and uh, just enjoy him. Hey, today, on our last day, I have a song I'll tell you about in a little while, but I wanted us to dig into a verse that I know you know, but I wonder if you've thought much about it, because it's it's toward the end of the 23rd Psalm, and sometimes I feel like we get into the, 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 the Psalm 23, and we focus on some more famous verses and skip over this one, and this song really kind of brings this home so i wanted to mention it and put it in our memory banks it's it's psalm 23 verse 6 and it says surely for sure goodness and love will follow me what all the days of my life the lord is my shepherd it starts it's talking about the lord and how the lord shepherds your life and one of the ways that he does that is his knowing you, knowing and sovereignly guiding your life. We've been and, and then making sure it's full of goodness. It doesn't mean there's not evil at times or bad things happen, but there's always goodness that you can find. We've have a, had a couple of days of singing about the goodness of God this week. And I sure hope those were a blessing to you and drove home the fact that God is good and his goodness endures forever and we can sing about it. I really want to focus on the second part. And love will follow me all my life. And I hope that's a meaningful thing to you. Then in the midst of whatever's happening, you know that God and his love has allowed it to happen. Even if we don't understand it at times, we can accept it and still thank God. And I know that's a hard thing to do, that, but that's why we want to make sure that verses like this are drilled in our mind, that God loves me. This I know. Why? The Bible tells me so. It brings such peace in my life, I got to tell you, and has for decades since I've, I've known him. Well, the song that I chose today, in a way, a little bit different way, drives that point home. We've had this song on before on the show, and but I'm going to show you today uh, a part of a concert that we did in the Performing Arts Center, then known as Clubhouse 3, back in June of 1919. And I just can't believe it. I was figuring out about four years have gone by since we had a community-wide concert and jammed that place. Denver Beerman and the Mile High Orchestra. Denver and the Mile High Orchestra. And they came out, great concert. They're a big band, big band music. And he is especially well known for putting hymns to a big band arrangement. I loved it. We all loved it. And then Denver has led worship several times in our church. He loves Jesus, and he uh, shows that in his ministry. Well, my favorite song of Denver's is, and I've stated it before, and even when he was here, uh, he knows your name is the name of it. And when he performed it, I, I know that the production value of the video part of what I'm going to show you is not as good as we've been showing all week. 
but it was live. It was our congregation and the community enjoying Denver and the Mile High Orchestra in the Performing Arts Center. And I'm also going to play uh, Denver Talk just prior to the lead-in to this song. And I wanted you to hear it because you hear his heart and he expresses what, what all of this means to him. And I know that'll encourage your heart also. So as I say, our video is not like we've been doing all week, but for some of us who have been around this long, it brings back great memories of a wonderful evening that night in June of 19. Enjoy the truth of the lyrics to this song. May they bless your life. God bless. See you on Monday or Sunday, I hope, at church. Bye. But as a little boy, I learned Jesus loves me. This I know from the Bible tells me so. There's no greater love than the love of Christ that he has for us. And so I uh, hope you can uh, be encouraged today, wherever you're at, that he loves you. There's a plan for you. There's hope for your life. And his name is Jesus. He knows right where you're sitting. He knows your name. You're not alone.